Arrangement markers help you separate your song into smaller reusable parts and rearrange them at will. For example, you can set your intro part, section 1, then chorus, then section 2, then with a drag and drop insert a copy of the entire chorus after the second section. Or create several variations of the outro and try them on easily. Let's learn how to do that. Compose your intro, then Ctrl click on the arrangement ruler to mark the beginning of the intro section. Double click the newly created marker and rename it to intro. Now Ctrl click on the arrangement ruler again at the end of the intro. You can see that the first arrangement marker now extends to the next one. The new arrangement marker will be automatically called section 1 as well. You can keep that name and write your tracks for that section. Once you've done it, Ctrl click again here and then rename the new marker to chorus. Write your tracks for the chorus and create a new marker for the second section to tell Ardor where the chorus section ends. Now write section 2 tracks. Then create another arrangement marker at the end of that section. What you can do now is copy and paste the already existing chorus. To do that, press Shift L or choose View Show Editor List in the menu and switch to the Arrangement tab. Now click on the chorus in the list and drag and drop it below section 2. Ardor will create a copy of everything that is within the range of the chorus section and paste it right after section 2. Regions, Automation, Markers and more. If a region in one of the tracks extends beyond the chorus, Ardo will only paste the part of it that is within the range of the section. You can double click and rename the last section to marker to bridge and write your bridge music and vocals, then drag and drop the chorus section again. If at some point you need to remove a section, right click on that section in the editor list and choose remove the selected section. 